When evil lurks begins with a mysterious gunshot in the woods somewhere beyond our main character's property line. The next day's investigations reveal a pair of human legs with intestines spilling out the top. Possession movies generally operate in the realm of the spiritual, but the malevolent powers here reduce the human spirit to a pile of meat. Characters are torn apart and swell into the sort of pus-filled monstrosities that you would expect out of a horror film, and yet one senses the stink of infection even within the healthy people. This is a world where wizened characters proclaim that churches are dead and nobody is coming to help. There is no purity left to defile, only some poor folks living in the woods trying to get by. In the world of this movie, the existence of demons and how to deal with them is common knowledge. The problem is that there is a lack of needed systemic support to properly address the situation. The stoic mountain man Pedro soon discovers that one of his fellow villagers has been taken hold by what they call a rotten, a sort of demonic disease, and his mother has been waiting for the proper officials to show up and kill him. If a demon is killed incorrectly, the killer becomes possessed. What follows is a futile attempt to pass the problem off onto someone else, which results in the evil spreading through society and our cast of characters. Individualistic instincts that would be wise in other horror films, running away from the haunted area to save yourself or killing the bad guy as soon as you get the chance, for example, are here what seals the character's doom. Public institutions don't care about its citizens and neighbors don't care about each other. Everyone looks after their own family, and so they are alone when these families start to rip each other apart from the inside. The brutality of the demons is among some of the cruelest violence to be found in a horror movie this year. There are children in this film, and at almost every turn, the movie gleefully says, Fuck these kids. There are some moments that feel similar to this year's Evil Dead Rise, in which a possessed mother tries to trick her children into letting her kill them. But that film was unwilling to fully commit to the horrors that that premise implies, because it was clinging to the wackier splashiness that the franchise is known for. When Evil Lurks does not exercise that same level of restraint. When Evil Lurks does not care if you are always having fun. And yet the film is so cruel, so relentlessly, that you just might have a lot of fun in spite of yourself. The movie is at its best in that first act in Pedro's hometown, even if I did also enjoy the feeling that the farther Pedro and his family runs, the more screwed they are. And I think the many rules governing the demon's mythology are inconsistently explained and enforced but probably the biggest problem with the movie is that its unforgettably nasty beginning, middle, and almost end promises us a catastrophic climax that's going to just ruin your whole week. And unfortunately, that reckoning doesn't quite come. To avoid spoilers, I'll just say that the ending is much more subtle than you would expect based on all that has come before. It's an ending that turns on a character's emotional reaction to a metaphorical hammer that is about to drop, rather than the impact itself. And yet, with image after unforgettable image, When Evil Lurks is an instant classic that I dare you to watch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to go bake some lasagna for my neighbors. You know, just in case I ever need them for anything.